Hey everybody, it's me, I'm uh, Jay Buskis. Hey everybody, it's me, Jay Buskis. One, and I just want to talk about today. I wanted to do a video about the presidents. Yes, I'll do all 44 presidents in order. I will make 44 videos. I will do Grover Cleveland twice because he did like a couple different things during his presidency. And we are going to do that now. So what I need to do is pop it back. As you see, I popped up something. Okay, I need to go to Google. I need to go to Wikipedia to get my facts. So. Let's oh, just take one more minute. Yeah, so our first president, George Washington, was born on February 22nd, 1732 in Post Creek, Post Creek, Virginia. He designed his uh, soldiers' clothes and the, the uniforms in the French and Indian War, and he was a great leader. He led us through the American Revolution, and one time, one time, George Washington actually, uh, George Washington actually tricked the British. He wrote a letter to someone, and there was a British spy. He wrote a letter, and the British spy got there, got the letter, and he said he, George Washington said he only had the like 8,000 men. But only had like 2,000, and the British had a lot more than the Patriots, George Washington's army, the Continental Army. So what George Washington did is when they retreated, they went in to, they were following them the whole way. And uh, one time, in the, he actually had, George Washington actually had an affair with someone else. They were like, it was like, it was when George and Martha were first dating. I think her name was Katie. I don't remember. It started with a K. And they wrote each other, they wrote each other, stuff like that. And a lot of people know George Washington before. He was our first president, first president of the United States. His service was from April 30th, 1789 to March 4th, 1797. So that was our, fourth, our first president, George Washington, and his vice president was John Adams. He, um, he created the federal bank, federal court, the federal bank, I think. He had the first veto, and... He wrote the judiciary something, I forgot. It's something about telling how the court system would work. And then a lot of people know him for, you can go check out his home, Mount Vernon. It's in Virginia. And he also, he did not sign the Declaration of Independence. He couldn't at that time because he had an army to lead. And uh, he had a unanimous vote, an electoral vote. He was unanimous. Like he had like a lot, and the other, and John Adams in, in the first election only had like nine. So George Washington was a unanimous vote. And my. Yeah, and one of my he was president. America was brand new. America has been there since. I don't know if it's. I don't really know if it's 1783 or 1776, because according to Britain, it's 1783, but, but according to America, it's 1776. Actually, according to, according to England, they should have lost. But you know, we have we have respect now, and. He was also the fur. He was also 
he um, gave up power. He said two terms. I'm out of here. And George, George King George the Third actually said to him, if he's gonna, he's the best man in the world. If he's going to reduce power and give it to somebody else, that American democracy was true. Yeah. So. I'm just doing my thing about the presidents. This is George Washington. And two people in his Secretary of State and the Secretary of the Treasury. The Secretary, the Secretary of the State and the Secretary of the Treasury. Or Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, the Secretary of State. And Alexander Hamilton was Secretary of the Treasury. Now, Jefferson and Hamilton hated each other. A lot of things going on. Um, Alexander Hamilton was a, a Federalist who wants a strong central government. But with Thomas Jefferson, he was a Democratic Republican. Which means he wanted power to belong to the states. And so George Washington did a lot of things for President um, he was a great leader. He was a very great leader. And he was one of our best presidents. So that's basically my review. For George Washington, he was one of our great presidents. And we will always remember him in our nation's history. Bye. See you next time with John Adams.